Hello everybody, I am Fedora Gamer. It's time for an episode of Incoming Indie, and holy butts, it's been a long time since I've done one of these. That'd be pretty much because I, I fail. But we are looking at Cavern King's Beta, which is available on Steam Early Access for $10. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. We are going to play Standard Mode. I've not actually messed around with Arena Mode, but we'll just play Standard. Now, to start a game, you get a pick between characters. When you first start, only Jack is unlocked. I've unlocked a few more, but we'll stick with the uh, basic Jack. Then you get to choose color, which I'll stick with actual skin tone color instead of that weird stuff. Then you get to choose hat, which I normally stick with the miner's hat. This doesn't really affect gameplay at all, as best I can tell. Then you get to choose your weapon. The, when you first start the game, you only have the first three unlocked, uh, which is nail gun, saw driver, and rebar rifle. I prefer the saw driver. The nail gun's kind of a SMG. The rebar rifle is extremely powerful and, and pierces enemies, but it also is rather slow to shoot and has insane knockback. Or recoil, uh, knockback on yourself. Then you get to choose your secondary weapon. We have the shovel, the jackhammer, and the kinetic fist. Keep it out of the bedroom. I've never bothered to read that uh, flavor text until now. Is that literally a fisting joke? I hope so. And then we'll jump into it. Now, at first, it looks like it's a kind of a, a mining game, right? And we have to fire once before our weapon starts showing up here. But it's not at all what it is. We'll go ahead and get into the first level here. It is an arena-based kind of rogue-like, rogue-lighty uh, horde game, maybe? Very item-focused, like a lot of... Uh, roguelites are and I'm trying not to just get wrecked while I'm talking here and it's it's uh, yeah, very roguelite in a lot of way the item system reminds me a lot of risk of rain but it foregoes the labyrinthian levels that you normally see in roguelikes and it instead is a series of arenas and as you can see now some giant spikes are coming down from the ceiling here Basically, you have a limited amount of time on each level. There, ooh, 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 don't hit it. Okay, let's just go down to the next level. These crates will give you some loot. Let's go ahead and try to get this crate. And as you can tell, we are now on a water level. These are kind of cool because you can more or less fly if it were. Okay, let's not stand there. I thought I was without out of its range, but not at all. But you're also much slower. This uh, is a ba bad place to be. And there came a giant worm, which is kind of a, a random boss. They'll show up randomly. Let's go ahead and retry that and fail less this time. This game is very item focused. As I said, the item system feels a lot like Risk of Rain. A lot of passive items that stack. There is no active item, just your weapon and secondary weapon. Okay, that went all right. Let's get this crate here. Get some large gems. There is an economy in the game. There are shops that you will find, and maybe I'll live long enough. One thing I've noticed about this game is it's very easy to get wrecked on the first few levels. But if you can uh, hang on a little bit longer, it's actually not uncommon just to, once you start getting some items, to snowball and become a death machine. It's, uh, in a way, a lot like... Uh, well, not a lot like, but a little bit like... Uh, yeah, try not to get hit here and think and talk. It's not working. A lot like Nuclear Throne, where there is no end, you just loop, or as it calls this, in, it calls it in this game, cycling, which I have cycled once. And uh, here comes the big doom thing again. I'm just kind of hoping some more enemies will come by. You do kind of want to make the most out of each level because there is a leveling system, and as well as gems needed to. Oh god, I just hit the dynamite. Gems needed in order to uh, buy things from the shop or open chests. There are chests that uh, require money to open. Again, kind of like Risk of Rain. Unfortunately, there's no way for me to get up there towards that uh, crate. That was close. But that's no big deal as the spikes actually help you sometimes when they come down. They Oh, well, so much for that. I just dropped down the level instead. Well, the spikes will break open blocks and crates for you and drop, drop the uh, items down for you. Now we have a shop here. That green item isn't very good. I can't quite remember what it does, but this one is better. Uh-oh. 
Nah, they're not a good place to be. That is, uh, that knife I got randomly throws knives at enemies nearby. Not very good in itself until you stack a couple of them. Again, all a uh, risk of rain. Uh, oh god, I forgot. Uh, you gotta pay attention to the ceiling. No, I'm in a bad place. I'm in a very bad place. The one thing to know about shops is you can buy as many of an item that's available on it as you have money for. Which I'm going to go and buy another one. Okay, time to go. Time to go. Dig out. Now your secondary weapon is used mostly for block breaking. It, you can use it to attack enemies, but the shovel definitely isn't best suited for that. So the other ones kind of are, but yet I find them worse at just breaking blocks with with any kind of accuracy. I mean, jackhammer is good for it as well, but I don't know. For some reason, I just like the shovel. Stick with the classics, you know? I need those health upgrades. And there's spikes down there on the floor. Spikes, the worst enemy in the game. Wait, what you can do is you can just break the block underneath them and uh, get rid of them. It gets very, very chaotic very, very quickly. Let's uh, get to this crate here. Yes, health, I need that. And I'll just farm a little bit more gems here and then get the hell out. Ah, there's a chest up there. I want it. There are double... What is that egg? Uh-huh. What did that do? Oop, I hit TNT. Yeah, one of the, one thing that makes it much easier is if you can get a shop with the uh, additional jump item and get three or four more jumps, then then the game becomes considerably easier. I have no idea what that egg did. I, I no idea. Which that, that's great. I, I haven't played this game very much, only four or five runs, and ha there being things that I don't know. You know that the, that kind of mystery is what adds this game and. Ah, damn it, that chest that I really want is going to get knocked down into the pit. Which, unfortunately, does not mean it follows you to the next level. Okay. Leveled up. Oh, God. Lots, lots, and lots, and lots of bats. We're going to come down here where I'm safe from bats. Oh, but I'm not safe from that. Yeah, I die. The traps are some of the nastiest things in this game. I'm kind of pinned down here. I don't like that. There is no crates or anything of value that the uh, the big ceiling of spikes will open. Oh, yes, there is. Where'd that chest come from? Um, where'd that chest go? There it is. Open it. Oh, we got another dagger. Ooh. I do need that health. Thank you very much. I did not need a fireball to the back of the head. Eh, okay, let's time to get out of here. Ooh, a shop. This uh, certainly increases gem discovery. That's always a good thing to grab a couple multiples of for the, the long game, for the long haul. I don't like being up here with that dynamite, so I'm going out of here. Plus, there are crates down here. Crates are good. The, uh, saw, the saw driver is quite useful against the snake things. You can nail like every part of their body with a single saw blade. Let's get the health. Not a whole lot of items yet. Ugh. The items come a little slow. So what do I think about it so far? I am quite enjoying it. It's still in beta and if you have an aversion to early access and aren't don't want to pick it up and are going to wait and see kind of thing, I that's a good attitude to have really but I am not opposed to buying early access games myself so if you think this is interesting it's ten dollars on Steam and if you want to wait and see I just recommend keep an eye on it I do wish there's a little more variety to the gameplay maybe some secret levels secret doors you know secret rooms whatever you want to call them since it is just down another arena down another arena but it is still in development, and I, I'm sure there will at least be more some more variety in some way or another once the game is finished. 
And now I'm just trying not to get overwhelmed. Oh god, Spike. Things falling on me. Ooh, geez, geez, that's a lot of dynamite. Oh, and there we go. <laughs> I do want the crate. Or the chest, excuse me. Aha, missiles. Randomly shoots some missiles. Oh god, that did not feel good. Okay. I don't like you guys being up there. I can't really get up there. I need my extra jump items. There are some, uh, you will start seeing later levels, some champion type enemies. Different colored, glowing, lightning, sparking. Not a good place to be. Lightning shooting out of them. And they do have a chance of dropping you some uh, items, which is a nice way to get some bonus items. Okay. This, this level can... Eat a dick. I'm out. Oh, hey, good. Boss fight time, which I don't have much life, so... Oh, God. Yeah, that spike block hurts you just kind of touching it. Give me some life. Oh, well, some money. Ooh, that was close. This isn't the best weapon for this boss fight since he flies and it doesn't have the greatest range. Though the uh, nail gun has, I think, less range when you're counting the arc. The three bar gun a lot more range stuns enemies when an elite monster dies that one's not particularly useful I've already gotten the gem serum a few times so we'll pick up one of the eyes here which gives us uh, attacks reduce armor which is particularly useful on bosses and now we're down to a new area with a new song I will mention that the music is kind of fantastic in this game unfortunately without any additional jumps I still can't get up to a lot of the crates and items a level up is nice though we'll go we'll take that well I can try to get up to these crates make myself a staircase here well there's some nasty stuff up there okay we got the crates it's gotta be a little creative sometimes oh god Ooh, lots of stuff going on. I want the health. Give me... No, don't give me the spikes. I want the health. Yep, and they disappeared before I could knock it down. So it's time to make an exit here. One thing I will say about... Uh, one bit of advice I'll give is... Be attentive right when you're switching levels and jump to the higher up platforms if you can on your way down. You'll miss a lot less crates that way. Whoa. As you can see, the gems are everywhere now that I got a couple of those gem serums. Oh, oh, there's dynamite over there. Ooh. Health? Oh, I'm at full health, actually. That's the thing about this game. You can go from almost dead to full health very quickly. Or from full health to dead very quickly. Fortunately, oh. Can I get these big gems I want the ugh. I want no uh, no the, the thing's too close I'm not even gonna try pick up a few more gems and vamoose and another chest give me something good more rockets more rockets are always good oh oh no oh oh no okay I avoided the dynamite exploding everywhere also grass blocks or bush blocks or whatever you want to call them grow back fairly quickly which is kind of nice sometimes those dynamite crates end up destroying most of the level very quickly and you don't have much to walk on if you want to try to maximize your experience and gym gain from that from that floor before you uh, head on deeper we'll try maybe a few more floors here eh, no these guys take a lot of damage as you see on this floor, oh god, not a good place to be. This floor, you don't just open a path. There's a certain area you can get down in. That happens sometimes. And there's sometimes a, a floor that will have a locked trap door that you have to get a key for to actually get out of the floor. Um, This one's not one of them. Where is the exit here? Oh, it's over there. Why? How did I not see that? 
Uh. Go, go, rockets. So now this is the start of a good snowballing effect. I could probably make this into a pretty good run. Maybe cycle once, though last time I thought I was going to definitely cycle, I uh, made one wrong jump into a crowd of enemies and got just wrecked almost instantly. There is not much for iframes after getting damaged. There is an item that will increase your iframe duration after taking damage, which is very good to have, but it's like a hundredth of a second iframe, so you can get bodied very hard in this game. And there's more items. Uh, I guess I can get another gem serum, since there's nothing... I was hoping for something to increase damage and, or just death dealing potential. Oh, we got a... Uh, we have a very fast champion there. Oh, and since I killed the elite, it stunned all them. That's the, that effect there. Elite, champion, whatever you want to call them. I guess the, the game calls them elites, so we should probably go with that. I can't really get up to that shop because it's just a death zone of freaking bats. Once you start getting smacked around in air, they just juggle you. Okay. I, yeah, I'm probably not going to get any items out of that. There is so many gems up there, though. Come on, knock them down. Knock them down. Now, I can't really get to the big ones, so we'll head down one more level. Oh, hey, spikes, you asshole. Okay, we'll take out this crate. Oh. Be near the edge of the level is actually not a good place to be. Enemies can fly in at you without you having... Oh, God, more spikes. Much time to react. There we go. That's got to be all the spikes, right? Okay. It's kind of a gem panata down here. Okay, come on down, spiky guys. As long as you're not falling on my head, I'm fine because you are just easy gems. Hope we have a champion, elite, whatever the bloody hell you want to call it. Nope, oh, no item from him, unfortunately. I believe it's time to get out of here. See if we can get another boss, maybe? Nope. The bosses don't seem to be at set durations. They seem to be kind of random on how, on what levels you get the boss. I do want this, another harp. I don't know how that effect really stacks, so since it only triggers on elites, and it seemed to stun everything on the screen, so... I don't think that one really stacks very well. Eh. All right, well, I think you've probably seen enough of this. I don't want to spoil too much of it. You want to go and discover the bosses yourself. This has been Cavern Kings. It is available for $10 on Steam Early Access. If you're interested, the link will, of course, be in the description. I'm Dora Gamer. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.